Today, I'm going to take you guys through a full day in my life. I just woke up, so I still have my retainers in and I'm a little bit dehydrated. So I'm gonna take those out real quick and we're gonna drink some water. Just a couple swigs of glass bottled mineral water. And that's probably the most important factor in whether I break out with acne or not is if I hydrate in the morning. So I try not to forget. As some of you know, I had braces twice. I had two jaw surgeries, so I try to keep my retainers in every night, keep my teeth straight with all the money and time I spent uh, making it look right. So it's about 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. Usually I wake up later on the weekends, but I get up an hour before I have to be at Frankie's for range meet because it usually takes me 15 minutes to get everything ready, print out all the orders, and then 45 minutes to get down there. Now, today I woke up earlier than I'm supposed to because I'm supposed to be down there at 10, but I have to go through all of my businesses on my computer, you know, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, print out all the corresponding orders for each of those, and then try to fill them. So here at my parents' house, I have stuff for Naturals and Wi-Fi Shielding. Everything else is in my facility in the city. Now, I am usually backed up with one thing, like today, I'm waiting on some products for Frankie's Naturals, so hopefully we can finish filling those orders Monday or Tuesday. Everything else I should be able to send out tomorrow, Monday. So this is one of the bed canopies from Wi-Fi Shielding. I have like a studio backdrop stand to hang it from on a hanger, kind of like a ghetto setup. And then this is grounded to the wall here. And my computer setup is double monitor, desktop that I built. I actually have to... Uh, Build a new computer soon, I don't know. Uh, for the thermal labels, I use a Rolo printer. And for other stuff like sometimes insert slips, I use the Brother printer, which is just black and white. You know, I mean, I try to do everything, you know, reasonably well. I have a mechanical keyboard, gaming mouse. You know, I'm jack of all trades, master or not. I mean, my room's a complete mess. You know, I got all the filming equipment everywhere, all the lighting, just stuff flying around. I don't really have enough room for storage. If you guys haven't seen my playlist on Wi-Fi radiation, you'll understand why I have this canopy up, but I basically have one where I spend most of my work time on my computer, another where I sleep, and I always wear protective t-shirt and underwear. Sometimes, you know, when I'm even in the car, if I'm at work and I feel like I have, you know, a headache coming on or I just want some clarity when I'm on the phone, uh, I put a head cover on my head. All that stuff is on wifi shielding.com. Uh, but today we have about 40 orders to fill for Frankie's free range meat, so I'm gonna to have to spend about an hour in the freezer. Uh, maybe 25 orders from all of the other businesses combined. Uh, so before we leave to go down, I'm gonna fill the orders for Wi-Fi shielding. And then when we get down there, we also have to do Frankie's free range foods and organ supplements. And I have a couple orders, as I said, on back order for Frankie's naturals. Yeah, you know, I really try to get all of the orders done on Sunday because when the week starts, you know, Monday, Tuesday is just a lot of work for Frankie's free range meat and sometimes I end up delaying the orders like two or three days until Thursday which is not acceptable because people are used to waiting for the Amazon shipping time. So here's the stack of orders and I always get like anxiety because like this week we had a lot of California orders for Frankie's free range meat and it's like $80, $90 to ship every single package. So uh, not a fun way to start the day looking at you know, a few thousand dollars in UPS bills every week. All right, so we're gonna fill the orders for Wi-Fi shielding before we leave. Here I just have way too much crap for both Frankie's Naturals and Wi-Fi shielding, but let's do these eight or nine orders and then we'll leave. You know, I just got so much stuff down here that I have to do. I have some fermentation jars. I have, you know, just all random stuff I gotta get rid of. And in the winter, I will start my car now. And I, I should probably start my car in the summer and spring too, but uh, sometimes I'll go back inside for a little bit. So I mentioned I wear the head cover sometimes in my car, but what I've been forgetting to do lately is wear like a baseball cap. So although you don't have full face coverage and there's still some, you know, radiation penetration through the face, at least you're protecting the top part of the head. And you know, the ones I got for Wi-Fi shielding, I bought, you know, kind of the most expensive type of cap. So they're flex fit, they're really comfortable. And uh, you guys should definitely you know, wear them around if you're not trying to look crazy. And if you wear this with the face masks that we have covering your face, it's actually pretty effective shielding for your head and brain uh, without, you know, looking out of the ordinary. I mean, before all this 
you know, nonsense going on. You know, I look like a crazy person wearing my hat all the time or wearing like a head cover all the time. Now people just say, oh, whatever. But I will be doing a sale on all of the t-shirts and underwear on Wi-Fi shielding uh, just to move out the entire inventory and get a new batch in of like the correct amounts for each size. Uh, so definitely check that out this week if you guys are interested. Uh, but we have our orders ready, so I'm gonna go back inside on my computer for a few minutes and then we'll leave. So we're heading down now, it's about 9.30 and it's a stunningly beautiful day in New York. So sunny outside that it's actually distorting the brightness on my camera. About 55, 60 degrees, not too warm, but I guess they're gonna have to spray some crap in the air to make the weather worse over the next few days. It's getting close to the time of year where you can actually lay out in the sun and get a decent amount of vitamin D3. I would say in about another three, four weeks, it's probably worth your time. So we got down here at Frankie's Range Meet, 10 o'clock on the dot. And what I didn't show you guys, what I also printed out was those orders was my to-do list. And you know, I have stuff that I have to do down here. And if I have my dad or someone else helping me, stuff they can do. Uh, so I obviously have to fill those orders for Frankie's Range Meat. I'm gonna suit up to get in the freezer for about an hour. And then maybe another hour of work just filling the orders for organ supplements, for Frankie's Range Foods. And hopefully I can get out of here by like one or two o'clock because I have a bunch of other stuff to do today. Here's all the orders. I did want to show you guys some stuff. So. I know a lot of you guys were asking for the cod liver oil. We should have it back in stock in a week or two and I got some new, really nice labels. Meat wise, we're gonna have all of the beef organs back in stock this week. Uh, we're gonna have a few cuts of venison hopefully by the end of this week as well. So definitely keep an eye out for what we're gonna have on Frankie's Strange Meat on the website. So whenever I have to be in the freezer for like an hour or two, I put my Teletubby outfit on cold weather outfit and sorrel winter boots and I actually start sweating in this even in you know the sub zero degree freezer and I'll just put some gloves on my hands as well usually if I'm like in and out of the freezer I'll just either keep my you know three layers of sweats on maybe put on the hat and gloves sometimes put on a jacket but I only have to put this on like one or two days a week so it's about 12 30 I only spent two hours or so in the freezer and towards the end the past 20 minutes I actually took that suit off just because I was sweating so much and I'm actually excited because I have a couple people coming to help me tomorrow so I'll have time to kind of organize the freezer rearrange and do some stuff that I haven't really had a chance to catch up on uh, but over that two hours I filled about 40 orders in the freezer I checked a couple of things off of my to-do list and the major thing that I do every day when I'm down here is you know I go on my phone notepad and I put down a list of, you know, the 15, 20 things that were out of stock on, um, maybe I have to update the weights on certain things, you know, what orders I missed certain things on. And the reason I do it on my phone instead of writing it down is because uh, for some reason as soon as I go in the freezer with a pen, the ink actually like freezes and it doesn't write on paper. Maybe I need to use a marker or something. Or I don't even think the marker works. And then on this to-do list I'll have some other things like for my car, which I guess I could show you guys. But I'm just gonna grab some uh, venison flank steak, uh, try it out uh, before I list it next week. And we're gonna get uh, probably four or five cuts of venison for you guys. I think I mentioned that we're gonna have in earlier, a couple of other things in stock. So <laughs> I know I sound like a broken record, but keep an eye on Frankie's Serene Age Meat, mainly around Wednesday or Thursday uh, for all the products back in stock and the new stuff. Uh, so I have to schedule the USPS pickup for sometime tomorrow. I don't actually have to fill uh, those postal orders, so I'll probably come in early and do those tomorrow morning. So we're going to go home, make something to eat, and then I think I actually feel pretty good today. So I'm looking forward to going out uh, to a trail and grounding. I haven't been sleeping that well the past week, and you know the few times that I slept like a rock was when I went out to those farms in Pennsylvania and I was like outside in the field. Uh, so we'll see how that affects um, my sleep and everything later. So I got my new car fixed a couple weeks ago. They had to basically replace the whole front suspension, both struts, ball joints, steering knuckles, was completely shot. And the guy didn't do a wheel alignment, so I, you know, because the steering wheel is still shaking. So I think what I'm going to do is I get some new tires, put them on, because they'll probably last for you know however long I'll be driving this car, and get the alignment at the same time. So I wasn't going to film in the car ride, but there is quite a bit of traffic on Sunday, I guess. And we decided to go out and in New York City, you know, the EMF Wi-Fi radiation levels on the highway are incredibly high now. Before all this 
New World Order nonsense happened and they installed all the new infrastructure in the towers, the levels were actually pretty safe as soon as you left New York City. Now, unfortunately, pretty much anywhere in New York on any major roadway, the radiation levels are incredibly high. Uh, and it gets even worse when you're sitting in traffic with all the cars around you. So in my car and you know, at my job, at work, and at home as well, I have these head covers lying around the house. And uh, this effectively blocks all the radiation from giving you a headache. It, it does impair your vision. And honestly, it's not that safe of an idea to do when driving, especially at night. But you know, if it's bright during the day and I'm going slow in my car, I don't really care. I'd rather do this than not get a headache. So we're home in 40 minutes. I think I want to eat, uh, bank some stuff off my to-do list on my computer. And when we get home later, after going on the walk, we can uh, do the Frankie's Naturals orders. And I also have to make some tooth powder for Frankie's Naturals. Uh, some of you guys asked me last week if I had the mineralizing tooth powder in stock. It's always been in stock. I don't think I mentioned in the video though that it's available on frankiesnaturals.com. So for our meal, we're gonna have some leftover brown rice. I'm gonna sear up a skirt steak really quick. And I have one cookie and then we have some water kefir. So I think I'm gonna drink a bit of extra water kefir this meal as I don't have cauliflower, I need to make more cookies. So we'll probably do that later. It's 1.30 and I wanted to meet someone at the trail at three o'clock. So I don't really have much time. I'm basically gonna eat, digest while sitting on my computer for maybe half an hour and then we're gonna go back out. We got the steak and rice cooked. I accidentally put too much sugar in the kefir, which rarely happens, but I might not be feeling so hot later uh, if I drink all that. All right, so I got my cute little track outfit on, just tights, shorts, and uh, you know, fairly tight shirt. And there's already been a few variations in my day. Usually when I get home about now, I'm so exhausted, I just lay down for a couple hours, sometimes even five or six hours. And on a day like this, where I don't work as long, I will stop by the tanning salon on the way back. The only reason I didn't do that today was because there was so much traffic and I didn't want to sit in my car for an extra half an hour. So uh, let me actually show you guys uh, my oral hygiene routine that I've been doing lately after I eat. So most importantly, here is a bottle of mineral water so I don't have to use the tap water for anything. That means, you know, when I rinse my mouth, when I wash my face, when I use the water flosser, I rinse all the brushes, the tongue scraper, everything with the mineral water. And then I just brush my teeth with basically mineral water. I don't use the tooth powder every day, uh, but today since I'm going to meet someone, uh, I do want my teeth to smell good, so I will use the tooth powder. I think I've done a video on this before, how to whiten your teeth, but I don't know. Let me guys know if you think I should address this on its own in a video, because it is pretty important. You know, just by spending, you know, a few dollars extra a week, you're able to, you know, prevent any fluoride absorption through, you know, the oral cavity through your face. If you guys are curious, this is basically clay, some minerals and peppermint. Minimal, tastes good, good for your teeth. So my teeth are all clean and I emailed myself the to-do list and what I have to do on the Me website. So I'm gonna sit on my computer maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. We'll get all that stuff banged out. Then we'll go to the trail. I mean, the rest of the day, all I really have to do after that is make the tooth powder for Frankie's Naturals, fill the remaining orders. And if I don't eat lunch tomorrow, which I think I might just skip. I don't have to prep any food. Otherwise, you know, I'm gonna have to spend like an hour or two of making cookies, all that stuff tonight. And uh, since I didn't stop by Whole Foods on the way back either, which I meant to do, you know, I don't really have like cauliflower and some stuff that I wanna eat, so. So we are at the trail. I've actually never gone hiking here specifically before, so who knows, maybe Frankie Boy will get lost in the woods and find a Russian girl, but I think I'm actually gonna uh, go to the supermarket after this and pick up some stuff cook it just to have the meal tomorrow in case. I don't know, it shouldn't be more than an hour, an hour and a half. We'll definitely be out of here way before it's dark. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm, I'm always fucking hysterical, this fucking, he's looking at me right now, so I'm trying not to be too, I don't, I don't give a shit. This fucking old guy on a bike in a fucking track suit fucking winked at me when I was recording that, like a minute ago. I'm fucking dying. Oh my fucking God, I can't. Literally fucking winked at me as. So it's about 6.30, hiked on the trail for two hours, then I decided to drop by Whole Foods, uh, pick up the cauliflower that I wanted to have with my meal. So uh, we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna cook for a second meal today and then for tomorrow's lunch, just in case I wanna eat something when I'm down there. I don't think I'm gonna do the Frankie's natural stuff today, the, the, um, the tooth powder and the orders. I think I'll just do them 
uh, Monday or Tuesday morning. Uh, it, it's not a big deal anyway. I'd rather go to bed early tonight around you know, 9 or 10 p.m. so I can wake up fresh at like 5, 6 in the morning tomorrow to go down for work as opposed to trying to cram stuff in because I know I'll have extra time after Monday, Tuesday, and depending on how many guys show up for work tomorrow, that's another factor. So, see you guys at home. All right, so instead of relaxing Sunday night, I'm gonna do a cooking extravaganza, which isn't a lot of work, I just like complaining. So, here we have two cups of short grain brown rice, four cups of glass bottle mineral water, some coconut oil, and some salt in the Instant Pot. Should be done in 20 minutes. Bought some organic cauliflower. We're gonna take this rice out of the pan put some water in there, steam the cauliflower with some coconut oil and some salt. Here we got the cookies going. I have a rough estimate of a recipe that I'm using, but if you guys want the full recipe, I did a video on this. So this is a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of salt, 150 grams of coconut milk, 200 grams of coconut oil, 260 grams of sugar, 540 grams of flour, and then we're gonna put in, uh, I feel like the white chocolate chips today. So that's what we're gonna do for the cookies. Water kefir is a brewing. And in the sink here, I have some venison flank steak thawing out. Uh, that should be ready in an hour when we want to eat. So I'm going to get all of this stuff going. And then, you know, while the rice is in the Instant Pot, while the cookies are in the oven, maybe I'll hang out on my computer for 20, 30 minutes. And I'll show you guys when everything's done. Oh, look, some more race baiting on TV. What a surprise. In brighter news, this is the venison flank. Uh, we're going to have this available later this week. It's gonna come five to six to a package, and these are nice and perfect for one meal. Uh, this is what I'm gonna sear up right now. So it's actually a quarter to 10. You know, the rice took about an hour to cool off, and I went upstairs and did another hour of work on my computer. Uh, so we're gonna hopefully get to bed before 11 tonight. Uh, but let me just show you guys what I prepped for tomorrow. So here's what I'm gonna eat right now, which is the brown rice, cauliflower, venison flank steak. Here is my lunch for tomorrow venison and brown the same thing and then i also have uh, a third meal prepared if i decide to come home and eat again tomorrow this will be the cauliflower and the rice and then all i have to do is just throw the flank steak in the pan these are the vegan white chocolate chip cookies and i'm going to accompany everything with the water kefir and a small amount of digestive enzymes so thank you guys for joining me today let me know how you like this i'm genuinely surprised that i'm not completely exhausted as i've been up for 14 hours and usually I have to take a nap, but that's definitely a sign my health is getting better. My liver is recovering. Hopefully, you know, a year or two for now, I'm at like full potential. You know, as a young man, I should feel a lot better than I do now. Uh, but if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You can go to frank Oh, one thing I didn't show you guys was after I put all that food ready to cook, I went down into the garage. I did the inventory for Wi-Fi shielding. Uh, so we will have a sale on the shirts and the shorts. If you guys check that now, I'm getting all the Frankie's Naturals orders, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements orders out Monday and Tuesday. Frankie's Syringe Meat fully operating as usual. Maybe on Thursday or something we'll do a product update video on some of the new stuff we have. Uh, but I really do appreciate all the support uh, that you guys have been giving me, and I'm hoping I can give it back and more over the next few years especially. I'll see you guys tomorrow.